Hey everyone, looks like we are all here and ready to get started. Uh, my name is Ben Morris. I'm the Communications Director at the Oregon Secretary of State's office. Uh, before we jump in, just a couple of items I wanted to go over. Um, today we'll be uh, releasing an audit on the Higher Education Coordinating Commission. Uh, our agenda for these are pretty straightforward. We'll have some brief remarks from Secretary Fagan and then our Audits Director, Kip Mehmet, will introduce the audits team and we'll open it up to Q&A. Uh, if you'd like to ask a question, uh, we'll take them in the order that we get them. And I would ask that you use the raise hand feature in Zoom to get in the queue. Uh, if you uh, haven't done that before, the way to get to the raised hand is under the reactions button at the bottom of the menu. Uh, if you click on that, there's a raise hand option. It looks like that. Um, if you wouldn't mind staying on mute when you're not talking, that'll help us all uh, get better audio out of this. And lastly, I'm recording this. Um, if you'd like to record yourself, let me know in the chat and I can give you permission to record. But I will also be emailing everybody a link to this um, recording after, uh, after we're done. I should be able to have it out within half an hour or so. So you'll get that from me as well. Uh, and that's all the housekeeping I think we have today. I'll go ahead and hand it over to Secretary Fagan to get us started. Secretary? Thanks, Ben, and good morning, folks. I'm Shimia Fagan, she, her pronouns, and it's my honor to serve as Oregon Secretary of State. My mission as Oregon Secretary of State is to build trust between, to build trust between the people of Oregon and state government so that Oregon's public services can make a positive impact in people's everyday lives. And as one of my constitutional responsibilities is to serve as Oregon's chief public auditor, and I know that our audits division is one of the most powerful tools that we have to fulfill the mission of building trust by making sure that Oregon's limited resources are making the biggest difference possible in the lives of Oregonians who need them most. And as Ben mentioned, today we're releasing another audit of Oregon's education system. This will be our fourth audit focused on schools this year. And I want to start out today by thanking um, or just by talking a little bit about why this area of community colleges is particularly important to me. I've shared um, multiple times in my decade of public service about my mom's struggles, about how she battled addiction and homelessness for most of my life. And in 2009, she had an overdose experience. And after spending uh, several days at Portland Adventist Hospital, moved to Eastern Oregon and kind of tried to restart her life where my brothers and I took care of her. And one thing that she was trying to do was to get out of the bartending industry that she'd been in for 30 years, we're obviously somebody that's battling addiction and needing um, to be successful in recovery. That's a, that's a hard environment to work in. And so she wanted to get a different job, but she didn't have any computer skills. And so she ended up going and taking community college courses, um, actually out in Pendleton and later at Clackamas Community College to gain some basic computer skills that she had never in her life sat down when she was in her late 50s, had never sat down and, and worked at a computer. But she had the opportunity to do that. Thank you to Oregon's community colleges. And so today we are releasing an audit of Oregon's Higher Education Coordinating Commission, otherwise known as HEC. HEC is the agency over community colleges, public universities, and private colleges. And HEC's mission is to ensure pathways to post-secondary educational success for Oregonians. And as I know through my personal experience, but so much broader than that, as the data shows, this is critical work our community colleges are important gateways for students from lower income families, for rural or older students, for working parents, or like my mom, workers needing to retrain or do something new in a different career area. They're also crucial for Oregon's economy. The audit that our audits division conducted found improvements in key areas since HEC began overseeing Oregon's 17 community colleges in 2015. Those included improved student performance and increased financial aid for students, which is very important. And of course, the auditors are always looking to make services better to build that trust with Oregonian and did find some substantial deficits. Oregon's community college student performance still lags behind other states, and there's an equity gap in student performance, and that persists. So accountability, effective public reporting on student results, and use of data to drive improvement are all sorely needed. And uh, those are very limited in the current 
iteration. And so that was a recommendation from our audits division. In addition to crucial student support services are also inadequately monitored and supported. So to address this and other issues, the audit includes five recommendations to HEC. It also recommends that the new governor and the legislature provide HEC with greater direction and authority and that state leaders increase HEC and college staff in key areas. As our, as our state's chief public auditor, I will continue to use the audits division to build trust by holding elected leaders accountable if they fail to address our most urgent problems. And the critical work of the audits division provides state agencies with valuable insight into how to improve those outcomes for Oregonians in housing and education in drug abuse prevention. Oregon is struggling. Uh, the data shows that the media, you have all done a great job of focusing and drawing attention to that. The audits that we've conducted provide valuable information for legislators and statewide leaders to improve outcomes for Oregonians. And we continue to urge them to lead to action. These recommendations shouldn't sit on a shelf. They should lead to action. So with that, I'd like to introduce Kip Mehmet, Director of the Oregon Audits Division. Good morning, Secretary Fagan. Thank you so much for those uh, introductory comments. Good morning, everyone. Kip Mehmet, uh, Audit Director with Secretary of State's Office, he, his pronouns. I uh, want to thank the Secretary. I always appreciate not only her awesome support for the Audits Division, but her personal stories, uh, because in the end, they point these audits to what they're all about, which is people. And in this case, this audit is about people in our community college system, the students, the educators, the heck administrators. Um, we all agree a really important goal and part of our uh, economy and part of our state's well-being, uh, but, uh, but a system under duress. And so I just want to echo a couple of uh, comments that the secretary made. One is that this audit provides some assurance. Um, since our 2015 audit, there's been some good, if not great, progress made in our system. So we, we don't want the, the significant findings, which there are, to diminish that. There's been a lot of work put in and there's been a lot of progress made. So we think and we're hopeful and and uh, aspirational that we can build on that momentum. And we need to build on that momentum, as the secretary pointed out in her comments. Um, and I'm not gonna restate those because it, she captured them very well of where the main risks are here. But I just wanted to point out where there's also work to do, there's also been progress made. And it is a complex uh, community and it takes a lot of consensus building. Having said that, just wanna thank uh, Director Cannon and his team over at HEC. They were outstanding audit partners and collaborators. We required a lot of information and a lot of their time. Also wanna thank all the community college system, all their personnel and, and uh, folks for also cooperating with this uh, fully on this audit. And I also just wanna real quick here introduce the team and thank them. Andrew Love was the audit manager. Scott Learn was our great audit lead. Emily Fiocco uh, was a, a staff auditor as, Zach, as was Zach Ostertag. Having said that, Ben, I'll turn it back over to you so we can get right into the Q&A part of the, uh, of the uh, event here. Thank you so much for attending. All right, thank you, Kip, and thank you, Secretary Fagan. So at this point, we'd like to open it up for questions. Um, and like I said at the top, uh, we ask that you use the uh, raise and lower your hand feature to queue up, and we'll take questions in the order we get them. Uh, if you have any trouble with the uh, raising your hand feature, you're, you're welcome to drop a question in the chat as well or just flag you have one and I can call on you. Uh, first question is from Sammy. Sammy, go ahead. Hi, I'm Sammy Edge with the Oregonian. Um, you know, the audit talks a bit about expanding HEX authority to um, push changes at community colleges. Are there specific statutory changes you'd like to see or think are necessary? Hi, Andrew Love, the audit manager. I can respond to this and Kip and then the rest of the team can fill in if I missed anything. You know, we, we're we really looking for the legislature and the governors to pay more attention, um, to give them the support they need. HEC is a coordinating agency, so their authority is different than those of others like K through 12, where they can compel um, the the districts to, to follow based on statute. And so what we're asking is, you know, short of a need for statutory, and we leave that to the legislature to decide, but more support. Uh, we noted that universities, there's a lot more oversight in that area, and that was done through a budget note. There could be other ways in terms of where the governor and the legislature can provide support that's short of legislative change. But if statutory change is necessary and we leave that to the legislature to decide, we fully support that as well. Thank you. Thanks, Sanders. Uh, I'm not seeing any hands at the moment, but uh, pause for a sec to see if anyone has any additional questions for the team.
Okay, well, I gave myself a, a 15 second count in my head. So if we're not seeing any additional questions, um, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and close it out. Um, thank you all so much for, for coming today. Like I said at the beginning, um, I will send an email around with a recording uh, of today's media availability. And if you have any additional questions or need any additional information from the team, you can always sh shoot me an email or give me a call um, anytime later today. So thanks again, uh, Secretary Fagan, uh, uh, and for the audits team and for all of our friends in the media. We'll uh, see you next time. Take care.